Welcome to my channel guys and if you've been with me for a while, welcome back. I don't like to do the whole long intro as you know. The important part is that I teach people how to understand the universe so they can manifest their dreams. So today spirit guided me to understand something. Our minds have completely gone the wrong way about things. When you go through hardship, or when someone does something to you, you always hear, oh, be the bigger person. Be the bigger person, it doesn't matter what they did. So you shove it down and you try not to think about it. And you just end up repressing those feelings. And you go to therapy to talk things through. And it's like, in society, you're looked down at if you're not the bigger person. The reason that it's so important to understand this world that you're living in, this universe that you're living in, and I know what I'm saying is foreign, and if someone had told me this when I was not awake, I would have literally been like, F off. So I understand. So just try to bear with me, because it's going to make sense to you. Your, your mind blocks your soul from allowing the universe to hear you, from allowing God to hear you. So you think that you are just going to struggle. And the universe is like, here, I have all these things for you. I don't want you to hurt, but you're not receiving them because your mind is in the way, creating resistance. When you repress your feelings by being the bigger person and you accept that you've been treated that way and you just shove it down every time it comes up, that is not self-love. Self-love is respecting and honoring your soul's energy. And if something has upset you, you acknowledge the fact that you create your own reality. And there was a time in your life where you were manifesting, you're manifesting 24 seven. There was a time in your life where you were resonating at a low vibration and you manifested this situation that you were fearful of into your life. And so instead of repressing your feelings, you need to acknowledge, okay, now that I know I'm in control of this, I'm going to focus on the outcome that I want, the outcome that's going to make me happy. Whatever the best outcome in the situation is, that's what I'm going to manifest. You don't ever tell yourself, no, you shouldn't feel these things. And you don't ever let anyone, I don't care if they have a fucking doctorate, you don't let anyone tell you, no, you shouldn't be feeling that. If you're feeling it, you refocus and you focus on what you want to manifest. And when you stop focusing on what's hurt you, and you instead focus on how that solution is gonna feel, you're gonna manifest it. People wanna say, oh, being a bigger person makes you look good. Well, you know what would actually make you look good is acknowledging the fact that you are an astral being inhabiting a physical body and then harnessing your power spirit conveyed that you are god in a bottle the other day 444 in other words in essence you are god in a body you are a living god do you want to wake up to it or are you going to sleep on your potential because it's what society has deemed normal because I think society would be like, wow, that's a really nice car. How did you get that? Oh, you have a great job. Why is everything going so perfectly for you? Why does this stuff happen to you and not me? Why is your life so much better than mine? You went from like having nothing to having everything. How'd you do that? So you can look at me and you can think I'm crazy. Or you can acknowledge the fact that you feel that there's truth in what I'm saying. You feel it in your core. If you're drawn to me, you 
there are people who are going to stick their noses up at me and tell me that I'm crazy and they're going to walk off with the people who stay here and they listen and they learn and they allow me to wake them. They're going to be driving past those people in a brand new luxury car. There is no one saying that you can't have everything you want. You think that you can't have what you want because you're thinking about it in a way that is physical. But the universe can line things up for you in ways that you don't realize. You're not going to see how it could fall into your lap. You don't know. Everyone has been trying to wake people up or wake themselves up for a long time. But they're not connecting the dots.